We all love getting together with friends and family, but playing host can be time consuming. And let's face it, it can be stressful as well. Our AM masterclasses continue today with Allison Slight from Candace and Allison Events Group. And Allison's here with some tips on how to make your party a success and not be so stressed out because we do go there, don't we, sometimes? Absolutely. It's easy to get yourself really wound up. So I've got some great, easy ideas for you to make any party fabulous. And you say, okay, first of all, let's start with the drinks. Always have drinks at the ready for your guests. That's right. So as soon as guests walk through the door, you want to be able to offer them some a refreshment. So we've got a great, really simple cocktail here. I'm just going to mix it up for you quickly. Okay. But simply you just do one part uh, vodka there. You do one part grapefruit juice. Okay, simple enough. A little bit of lemon juice. Throw that in. A little bit of simple syrup. Voila. Sweeten and throw that up in, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And throw in basil leaves. So nowadays with cocktails, it's not always about, you know, those really sweet saccharin type flavors. Basil's you, interesting. Basil, in it's really refreshing and it appeals to both men and women, which is really, really nice. And what about, Allison, for those that don't drink? Um, we have something coming right up for that, but yes, you should always offer an alcoholic and non-alcoholic some, version. have something else, right? Yeah. I mean, the general rule of thumb for um, the amount of drinks that you're going to need to make uh -huh. is one drink per person per hour. Okay. So that'll overcompensate for the people that drink more and then make up for the people that maybe are the designated driver or expecting. There you go. And that's a lovely looking yeah, cocktail so right there. just float a little leaf in that. And that cocktail is available at spiritfightgreygoose.com. That's wonderful. Lots of recipes there. This now, one this, here. Yeah, this is just a sparkling cranberry sangria. So with sangria, as you know, kind of anything goes. You can just throw in a bunch of whatever. There's no recipe. There's no measurements. Throw in a little bit of sparkling uh, cranberry or pomegranate juice, a little bit of orange juice, throw in a little bit of white wine here, mix it up, and leave it overnight in the fridge to um, sort of marinate. Yeah, it's so good when you do that. Exactly. And look how you presented it here. This is beautiful. Yep. Another this like rosemary sprig, a little slice of apple, another orange slice or lemon slice would also work. But presentation is everything. So it fresh ingredients is. really work. Speaking of presentation, appetizers, and you say have them on hand so people can kind of graze if they want. Mm -hmm. But you wanna also want to be able to pass something around. Exactly. So you want to offer them something, um, you know, pass when they get in. So these are sparkling cranberry bites. Really mm. simple really Canadian flavors as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take those cranberries okay. and throw them into a bowl. Okay. You're going to warm up some um, maple syrup on the stove beforehand. So you can just sort of pass those in. in. Yeah, go ahead and dump those in. Okay. Um, so you're going to have the maple syrup warm, not hot, because cranberries can actually burst and you don't want that. Okay. So you'll mix them up and you'll put them in the fridge overnight, just again, to let those flavors um, sort of sink in. And after, um, in the morning, when you take them out of the fridge, you can actually just take them and put them into some some simple white granulated sugar there. So just drop them into the bowl, just a little bit like that, great. Is that good? Yeah, and you okay. just roll them around and coat them. And eventually what you're gonna get is something that looks like this. So you'll take them out and you'll put them on a baking sheet and you'll just let them harden because the, the maple syrup will um, harden and the, as will the um, sugar. That's a good idea. Yeah, and then you're gonna put it onto a brie bite there, oops, with a little bit of chutney. We've got some chutney in our cheese. That'll make it here. stick a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. And that's, that's the glue. Another, that's right. You that's put another that on. cranberry chutney with a little bit of orange. We've got some berry flavors throughout. You know, we've this got some the cranberry theme. goat cheese. Yeah, it's a very berry Christmas is what we're going for here. So and the consistency is nice. It's beautiful. And just to finish up, we've got to get to this. This is a gorgeous mm -hmm. arrangement. Look at how you've set this up. This yeah. is beautiful. So utilizing those berry flavors, you know, the blueberries, the plum flavors, they're all very festive and not being very traditional. So it's nice to have, you you know, pomegranates are very in and of the season. A little bit of accents of sparkle and gold. Um, it's must for holiday. You have to have a little bit of twinkle and a little bit of shimmer in order to make it really pop. So, you know, just combining all these colors, there's no real right, right way to do it. It can be eclectic. You can use things that you already have at home or go out and just get like a special colored glass. This is all very easy to find out at the market. So anything like that. And then having the berries integrated into the floral centerpiece is nice as well. Um, these are also a little bit unusual. The artichokes that are dried in the floral arrangement, but just having these conversation pieces throughout, it's great um, sort of material for your guests to talk about. You've done a great event. job. It's beautiful. Allison, always nice Thank to see you. you. Thank Merry you, Thank you, Merry Christmas. Marcy. Happy holidays. Okay, cheers. We'll have some of the holiday recipes on our website.